Hey, this is John at Happy Wife Acres. I'm out in the shop and I'm building a quail cage. First, I want to say thank you to Chris at Slightly Rednecked, his YouTube channel. Uh, he had a couple of videos on building a quail cage and really inspired us, gave us a lot of great ideas. Chris, I used most of what you're doing. I'm, I'm making some slight mods uh, to fit how we want to run the quail. So here's what we have so far. So I don't really have a plan that I could share at this time. So I'm kind of making it and then making mods as I go along and, and uh, hopes that it all turns out. This is two feet by six feet in the middle of it, about two thirds of it. These are uh, half inch boards just to give some support for the half inch by half inch hardware cloth. So this is two foot wide hardware cloth. And then for about a third of it, this is going to be where they have sand and they can lay their eggs and dust bathe. Uh, there will be about six inches away from that, there will be a board here and a hole where they can come in, get out of the wind, get out of the rain. They could stand here if they want, hop into their dust bathing area. It's only going to be about a foot tall. And so I'm gonna add those things next. I'm making two of these, but I'm making one right now and hopefully it'll turn out okay and I'll make the other one just like it. And then they are going to be attached to two by fours to stand up. Uh, off the ground I'll put it up against the barn and uh, I'm hoping this will become much more clear as we go along. I do want to add that these boards here were made from two by sixes so it's an inch and a half thick and then I cut it at an inch and a half and the residual are these little half inch boards right here. So waste not what not. A little more work and maybe this makes it a little clearer so this is how tall it is. It's about a foot tall. And this will, this will be where they live on the outside. There'll be hardware cloth on the outside. I'm going to put a metal roof up here that will be angled. And then right here is the divider. So they can come along, come through play back here this will all be covered in wood and sand again uh, there'll be a door here and then a door here so we can get into them from both sides so now we're just gonna finish it out so a few more finishing touches and I think this is about ready to go on some two by fours I did add a steel roof corrugated uh, I was thinking about putting some sort of a slanted roof on there, but I know that wherever I put it, it's not going to be exactly level and water will just run out these channels and fall off. So I'm okay with that. So inside here is where they're going to dust bathe, hopefully lay some eggs. And got a barrel lock there. And over here, this is where they'll probably spend a lot of their time. there not too tall so they won't jump and break their necks put some knobs on some hinges so let's put this on some some stilts one last thing I forgot to show was this rack right here and that will hold the poop trays because this is going to be outside up against our barn over the asphalt and so we're just going to catch the poop and throw it out. This is the front, it's upside down. So this slides in. There is that catch you can see right there. There's one on this side so it keeps it from pushing in too far. So the way I attached it was I had these risers and I used a pocket hole with a Craig tool. And then here in the middle, pull this out to show you. Here in the middle, I just used a piece of metal to attach this thin piece. 
So there's a screw, another riser here with a screw, and made two rows, and that's it. So here it is on legs, and I do notice it's it's a little wobbly, not much, but I know once I put the second cage right below it, it'll really stiffen it up. Uh, this is high, and this is about six feet. Uh, we're tall people, and I know once I put the other one in, and if I was to put this one lower, then the second one would be really low. Boop tray now slides out really well, like that. In there. So I'm happy with it. We'll move it around to the side of the barn and get some quail in it. Here it is in place, and got the quail inside. Uh, wasn't too hard to transfer them. There they are. They're just trying to figure things out. And hopefully they will eventually find the secret door. And go and enjoy that. So, enjoy your time in there, Quail. Go make some eggs. We need more babies. Hope that was helpful. And I will get some rudimentary dimensions together and I'll post them uh, in the description but thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel we have a lot of videos about homesteading education and we certainly appreciate you watching all right thanks again and we'll see you soon on the homestead